Hi there, I'm Alan R from Motor Matters and this is something very, very different for us. Now for something completely different as they say in the classics. This is the Jinbei H2 Taxi. 16-seater, first person, first motoring publication to be testing this new Jinbei H2. You can see what it's like. Big 16-seater taxi and I reckon it certainly does the job, doesn't it? A long vehicle, five and a half meters long, but boy, it's got all the features or everything you want from a taxi. ABS brakes and EBD in a taxi, probably one of the first to have that. So you've got safety built in, you've got all the safety factors you want. And beyond that, air conditioning for the driver at least, if not for the passengers. But let's check out some of these passengers, what they got to say. What do you guys think? Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a great car. I'm satisfied. No Way worries. back over there, what do you say? It is comfortable. I'm safe when, when it comes to my Mac. Well, that's what counts, isn't it? So what do you get with the Jinbei H2? Well, you certainly get a four-cylinder 2.4-litre engine and it puts out 102 kilowatts, 217 newton meters of torque. So it's got enough power for the job that needs, be, needs doing. But the most incredible part of this, and this is very much a copy and a clone of, guess what, the most popular bus and taxi around. We won't name it right now, but we all know which one it is because it's got built under license by Jinbei under license from Toyota Motor Corporation. So we know which one it's competing with. But listen to this. 345,000 Rand puts you behind the wheel of one of these. That's all it'll cost you to get yourself a brand new Jinbei H2. You want one? That's what it'll cost you. That's how you do it. You also get, for the first period, you get service packs included in that price. So your servicing essentially is also free. All the parts for servicing are included in that price for the first 100,000 kilometers. It's amazing what you get with this vehicle. You get a good sound system. We got some good sound just now as well coming from the vehicle. That also counts. So you can get that sound system cranking as well. There's one little complaint I got about this vehicle and I have to mention the one little complaint. If it's going to be a taxi, it needs a far louder hooter than that. So just one little thing. But having driven it for a little while and experiencing it on the road for a bit, let me tell you it's surprisingly comfortable on the freeways. Uh, does an amazing job. I was actually very, very su pleasantly surprised and impressed by how it handles and rides on the freeways and what it does on freeways. I enjoyed that part of it and thought it was very impressive in that respect. Also, in terms of new taxi laws, there is a restrictor governing this to a maximum speed of 100 kilometers an hour. So you can't go any faster, means it brings in other safety factors as well. And I think those are so important as well when you look at a taxi. So very, very important to check that out. Overall, you can just see all the space you want, all the room you want. And gear shift up here, high up on the dashboard, nice and easy to operate, nice and comfortable, sits there, air conditioning system, four speed air conditioning. As I said just now, definitely comfortable for the driver. Overall, as taxis go, I think the more of these that get on the road instead of some of the wrecks that are traveling around our roads already, the better off and the safer, safer all our commuters will be. For Motor Matters, I'm Alan R and uh, I'll see you next time.